Welcome back to the Bristol City View. It's a trip to Carrow Road this weekend, but nothing phases these Robins these days. They can come back for a goal down even when they're not playing well. To preview the Norwich game and to review the Huddersfield game and also to talk about players out of contract and who should get a new deal, we've got Sam, our resident Robin. How are you, Sam? I'm good, thanks, mate. And yourself? Very good. I'm good, thank you. And we have a guest this week, a special guest who is... Uh, amazing on Twitter and all things Bristol City and that's Milo how are you Milo? And there you are yeah very good thank you All right, let's get straight into this then the Huddersfield Town fans are furious at uh, the referee Um, never a handball they should have taken the three points and they'd be out of the bottom three now you're neutrals you were in the stadium you've watched it back (laughs) what was your view of it Sam? Definite penalty, definite penalty. <laughs> it, it's one of those, isn't it? If um, if it happens against your team, you're going to be bitterly disappointed. But when it happens for you, when you play so poorly during the game, to nick a point and keep the unbeaten run going, we'll take that. Milo? It's never a pen. It's never a pen. <laughs> I mean, to be fair to Huddersfield, they wasted about 15 minutes in the last 10, but no, never a pen. Um, and and I mean they 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 have come out very strongly and and criticised the referee and obviously it doesn't help that it's obviously it's, it's Ralph Merck of Rekka Welsh, um, and just her own her own general performance in your very neutral eyes of that game, mate, very good. I mean, Bristol City have been on the end of some pretty terrible penalty calls. I mean, we went a year and a half without a penalty, not long ago. I think she had a very good game. She let the game flow. I mean. I've seen refs like Keith Stroud and others have much worse <laughs> games than that, isn't it? So I don't, I don't, I don't think you can criticise it really. Keith Stroud, no, absolutely. Anyway, we are in the midst of Bristol City's best run of the season, I think. Um, certainly in terms of resolution, being absolutely resolute. Um, you conceded. We we talked about that on this channel before, but. Um, you found a way back into the game, and it's another game added to the undefeated run, Sam, which is um, impressive, isn't it? Yeah, so five, five games unbeaten now. It's unheard of, like midway through the season, to be fair. Milo, I want to ask you about Liam Manning um, and the style of football that you've been watching and compare it to what you saw at the start of the season. Um, what's your view? It's a tough one, mate. I mean, I'm going to divide a lot of fans just saying anything really but um, I feel like it's now a lot more organised whether that's for a good thing or a bad thing I'm not sure I always felt with Nigel that Nigel Pearson that is um, sometimes it was a little bit less structure not really sure what we were doing it feels like now especially with our press we've got a lot of intent and it seems like it's deliberate it's not running around like headless chickens you know hoping Mark Sykes or Jason Knight can turn over the ball it's we've got a pretty good press that's suffocated teams like Leicester, suffocated teams like Leeds, not Leeds, sorry, Southampton. Definitely didn't suffocate Leeds. But um <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's I think it's it's a work in progress, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it has been progress. And I think there's a lot of positive signs. I'm not sure if Sam would agree. No, certainly I think the football has improved a lot under man in. Um I like with Pearson, we seem to be very like defensive, counter-attacking team and not really putting up much of a fight. But we seem to be hanging in there at the moment and keep keep on going. Like you said, a, bit, a lot more organised and some decent football. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's, it, I don't want Bristol City to finish in 12th because um, I think it was our Sunderland fan who said last week, it's, like, it's what Bristol City do. 12th position is made for Bristol City. I mean, you haven't finished that actually in the last five, until five years ago, haven't you? But um, so I'm hoping this is a higher top half finish for you. Um, but with three fixtures left to go, these players don't seem like they're on the beach. Do you think you can actually take it to Norwich and, and, and get a result there? I mean, yeah, I absolutely, mate. I think Sam mentioned it earlier. I think against these better teams, we are, for some reason, I'm not sure if we just, our boys get up for a bit more or, we always seem to show up against these better teams. And obviously Norwich have been very, very good at home this year, verging on the playoffs. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're safe, to be honest, in that playoff race. But no, I, I really think we can give them a good game. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. 
All right, before I let you go, I want to ask you about the players out of contract and some of the, the loans uh, as well. Um, so, um, first of all, let's talk about the, the loans. Um, some of these may have already been decided. Um, Scott Twine and uh, Mabudi um, are the loans. There's an option to buy on uh, on Mabudi. Uh, Sam, what's your view on those two? I mean, we haven't really seen much of Mabude to be able to give a comment on him, to be fair. He looked good on his on his debut for a few minutes, but then against QPR, he just looked lost, lost on the pitch. But definitely, if we can, we need to keep Scott Twine. I mean, he's certainly improved our team in the last few games when he's been starting. But lots of whole, lots of whole fans will be happy to drive him there you know, themselves. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, um, Milo, what about the uh, the three central midfielders there that are all out of contract? Yeah, it's an interesting one. This, I mean, on Saturday against Huddersfield, we obviously didn't play our best football, but the field, the midfield was Joe Williams and Matty James, and I I don't think they complement each other brilliantly. I think they're both brilliant players in their own rights, but I think it's a little bit passive of just them in midfield. Saying that, though, I wouldn't be against giving you both of them a contract at all. They're, Joe Williams has put in some pretty unbelievable performances this year. Matty James, too. He's a bit of an anchor. He's been like that since his Coventry days, but he's always so solid, okay. so reliable. And I pretty, I mean, I think under, under Nigel Pearson, it was 100% give him a new contract. And I think I'm getting to that stage with him now. I think he's a good dressing room head to have. And, and it's a bit like Andy King, really doesn't offer too much more in his playing days now he's in a bit yeah he's near the end of the career but it's been a very good career and I feel like again he's a good presence to have around the dressing room and okay all right thank you for that um two games left to go then for us to review then next week and we'll be reviewing uh the obviously how Bristol City have done away from home and at home at Ashton Gate in the next couple of uh, weeks so do tune in for that let's get some score predictions for you from you both then before we let you go I can't call this one um, except I think there'll be goals in it Norwich against Bristol City Sam well we haven't won at Parra Road since 2009 so it's going to be a difficult game but I think we're going to go there and pinch a 1-0 win okay <laughs> I love this I love this new confidence in you Sam 2009 <laughs> Milo were you even born then Milo <laughs> I was yeah I was um, it's my 18th birthday on Saturday when it's going on ah, so I'm pretty sure well. I'm going to put a bet on you know Bristol City to win hopefully my luck will right, I'll, I'll go 2-1 2-1 one. One City is that just because you legally can put a bet on now? Is that just, <laughs> yeah. 18 is that? Like, okay. Pretty much, yeah. All right, well, ha- happy birthday from all of us for Saturday and let's hope the Robins uh, make it um a memorable day for you. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you, Milo. Yeah, no and if you're a Bristol City yeah. fan that hasn't yet commented or followed this channel, please, please do so. And you can follow Milo and Sam both on Twitter at the handles in the descriptions below. Thank you very much. <laughs>